Welcome back to AgriTalk as we wrap things up here at the Farm Progress Show site in Decatur, Illinois. Our Farm Progress Show preview series brought to you by Syngenta. When we were here about three weeks or so ago, host farmer David Brick said, be sure to bring hot weather when you come back. Well, we brought you some. Mostly humid, but it, it uh, has helped the crops. I mean, it's really changed, hasn't it, in those three weeks? Yeah, we've caught up tremendously. Uh, everything now that, that we planted the 10th of May is in full tassel. You know, we was about five weeks behind schedule then, and uh, now we're just, you know, you know, 10 days, two weeks behind. So we've gained, you know, a good three weeks. Are you more optimistic that there'll be some corn ready to harvest for field demonstrations during the show? Well, I, I'm a lot more optimistic than 30 days ago, that's for sure, but uh, we still got a long way to go. We, you know, weather like this week, yeah, it'll help, and it'll, you know, mature it along pretty quick. Uh, you know, we're still going to have some wetter corn to deal with by showtime. There's no, you know, there's no doubt about that. When we're down to what, 45, 50 days. So even at Tassel now, we still, you know, it's still going to be higher moisture, but, but we may, you know, we're shooting to have something to run. That is part of the challenge, especially with the show now moved up to the end of August. Uh, and you were talking about this before we went on the air. You farm by these uh, deadlines now that you need to reach, whether you're cutting hay or getting crops hopefully ready for uh, field demonstrations. I mean, uh, you are on a more uh, advanced schedule than you would normally be if you were just, if it's a year where the Farm Progress Show is not being held here. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, you, days of the show's not here, years of the show's not here, you just, you just go and you can't do nothing about it, you know, Mother Nature. Well, when the show's here, you try to make everything ready to go, you know, and we got to plan out cuts on the hay. So, you know, this parking lot's done for setup. This parking lot's done for for you know exhibitors come in and have everything done before the show and all the hay's got to be clear you know cornfields got to be ready to harvest and and yeah everything it's 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 uh it's a lot different than an off show year how is your hay crop hay's doing great i mean uh, yields have been excellent you know you know first cut we yielded three to four ton you know this cut now second cut we're into it and and it's doing real well too so uh just getting it done is a problem with 70 percent humidity and and dew points up so high and everything else, you know, that's just, it's just taking extra days, just like everything else, you know, extra days to get it up and dry and extra rakings and everything else. So that, but that's been part of the course the last three, four, five years. You know, we've, you know, the hay crop around central Illinois the last three or four years has just been, you know, it's been a struggle and it's, and it's, you know, a lot of fun's been taken out of it. It used to be, you know, mow one day, bale the next, you know, 24 hours and, and sweat your butt off, but anymore it's pull your hair out and let it set for five days and and six days and bale it now and you know put acid on it to try to keep it you know even though you know we're longer days we're still having to put some preservative on it to try to keep it you know make sure it stays good. Let's go back to the corn. Uh, any insect problem? Nothing really yet. We've been you know weed control was great. Insects haven't been a problem. Uh, we're getting ready to. Uh, aerial fungicide should be put on either it's scheduled for the first of this week so either today or tomorrow or whatever so we'll get that on now that we're in full tassel so you know that'll take care of a lot of problems with that you know question you know we always have that question with you know with fungi with the with the humid hot you know weather so we'll get that taken care of we were talking earlier about beans uh, being a lot shorter than we see a lot of years uh, is that the case here too yep yep they're behind too you know they don't seem to be growing as fast as the corn is, but but uh, they was planted quite a bit later. So you know they still got a long way to go. You know it's uh, it's only what tenth to eleventh of July. So we uh, hopefully we'll have a good rest. Well, that's the thing with beans ain't part of the show, so we don't have to worry about that. So we'll you know it could go later on. We're talking with David Bricks, host farmer here at the Farm Progress Show site in Decatur, Illinois, as we get ready for the Farm Progress Show coming up the end of August, 1st of September. Um, how does this compare with two years ago, 2009, when we were here? It's similar, but it's, but it's you know, a, a little different. We didn't quite have as much rain in June as we did in 2009. Uh, you know, we had a lot of rain in, in June, which, which put us way back. We got everything in early, uh, where this year we was late, but... Since we've got it in, in this year, it's been good throughout the growing season. We haven't had a real setback. So it got a little cool for a little while, but, but other, you know, other than that, moisture-wise and stuff, we've been just, just adequate enough, you know. And uh, where in 09, we, we kind of struggled with that. And then, and then once, 
you know, first of July hit, summer just shut down. I mean, and then the rest of the summer in July, which about this time on, you know, sometime right after the first of July, it, you know, the furnace just turned off and we never had another day over 90. So, you know, we're hoping that's changed. You know, it's already looking good here for, for July for this year. What about storms? There have been several through central Illinois. Have they missed you for the most part? Yeah, I'm, we've been very fortunate. You know, everything has went south or north of us, mainly south of us. Uh, you know, we've, you know, we've had a few, but it, nothing's been very major at all when it comes into making it. A lot of it here in northern Macon, it, well, very northern Macon has some bad hail, but, but uh, central Macon here, we've, we've been pretty good. It just, you know, been going around us. You know, we're real fortunate. So I ask you about hail because there has been a lot of hail around the area. Yeah, northern Macon especially had a bad swath go across right on the county line, and then of course bad flooding and stuff south of here. So, but uh, you know, you know, you feel sorry for those guys, but we are been pretty fortunate right here in this area. So you're feeling much better about meeting all these demands of Matt Youngman, then, right? Yeah, uh, he he uh, walking tall carries a big stick. You know, you he, he's pretty pretty rough to deal with, and, and and all these all these deadlines and stuff they put on us, but but. Uh, we we've learned how to how to take him. Yeah. You uh you probably have selective hearing, like my wife says I have. You probably have selective hearing sometimes when he's telling you about some of those things. Yeah, yeah. He uh he does all right. He I don't I don't he don't cause us any problems. We don't cause him any problems. Everybody just kind of. Of course, he's sitting three feet from you too. But uh, that might that might uh, be a different answer later when I'm talking to you. So you're you're feeling much better than you were three weeks ago. Though. Sure. Yep. It's uh. Different ball game now, you know, we're in the game now, let's put it that way, where before we thought we was severely on the bench. So maybe now we're, we're in the game and we'll, uh, and we'll uh, keep plugging along and, and we'll have everything ready and be able to put on a good show. Still a lot of game to go, but, yeah, I'm feeling a lot better about it now than just a few weeks ago. Good to see you again. Well, now what do you want me to bring next time I come back? Same. Okay. A little less humidity. <laughs> 90 degree temperatures is great about 40 percent humidity that'd be excellent you don't want much do you just okay all right david bricks host farmer here at the farm progress show site again the show coming up the last two days of august and the first day of september again I want to remind you that we will broadcast actually four days the monday right ahead of the show plus all three days of the show tuesday wednesday and thursday here in decatur illinois and also coming up uh, later this month we're going to start a series called our farm progress show flashbacks as we're going to go back and talk with some of the folks who have been involved with past farm progress shows and uh, kind of go down memory lane a little bit and remember some of their uh, experiences and the, the memories they have of the years they hosted and worked on farm progress shows in the past so that'll be coming soon brought to you by the national corn growers association all right we'll wrap things up on this farm progress show preview series our preview series brought to you by Syngenta. We'll be back here again next month uh, to kind of get a final uh, feel of how things are going for the show setup before we get here the week of the show itself. By the way, coming up on tomorrow's program, we're going to have a Washington update with Iowa Senator Charles Grassley. A lot to talk about with the uh, the budget situation and some of those things. And we'll be talking with United Egg Producers about their compromise agreement they came to with the Humane Society of the United States. We'll get some information on that coming up tomorrow. Hope you'll join us right here on AgriTalk, the voice of rural America.